So this is a sci-fi geek movie questionnaire. If you don't have an answer, just say pass. Okay? I, I, I feel like you about to have a lot of passes right now. Okay? You about to be Magic Johnson in this just passing. <laughs> That was your, that's your pass? Did you show me the pass again? <laughs> I like it. Two-handed chest pass. Stick to the basics. I love it. All right. All right. Here, here we go. I'm ready. Rapid, rapid fire. So that way people get a chance to know, know us and who we are. All right. Uh, best Terminator. Finn. The first one. <laughs> Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Girl, crazy. Uh, best Alien movie. The first one. <laughs> I see a dangerous pattern brewing here. Uh, aliens, okay? But I'm Get off of her, you bitch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, best part of the movie. The first one. Right, yep, the, the, the first one. Listen, that, like, listen, the, you, you can't go wrong with Arnold. Best Star Wars. Ooh, Empire Strikes Back. Yep, same, Empire. Yep, no. I'm curious, what, what would be your second? Um... The first one. <laughs> okay, stage. I, I swear to God. Okay, <laughs> best Star Wars moment. Uh, the first thing I said was, "Luke, I am your father." That yeah, was like the I first heard, thing yeah. in my head. I yeah, thought. Yeah, that's the say. Yeah. The, the, the first thing I, I thought was, I, "No, I am your father." I you am know. Your father. I love that. You know, which we got to take take some time and talk about how Obi Wan Kenobi wasn't sh- because he told uh, Luke Skywalker. Uh, what he tell Luke? He told Luke in the first movie that like your dad was killed by Darth Vader, and then when Luke found out in Empire that Darth Vader was his father, then he was talking to in, in the third movie in, in uh, Return of Jedi. He's talking to Obi Wan Kenobi, and he's like, uh, "Yo, son, you you told <laughs> you told me that Darth Vader killed my dad, but I found out Darth Vader is my dad." And this the Obi Wan Kenobi was like, "Well, what I told you was true." In a matter of speaking, no, that was a lie. That was a f-ing lie. Nah, what that was. Nah, Obi Wan Kenobi was like surprised. <laughs> so, so apparently, uh, being a space ghost doesn't mean you went to heaven because that was a lie, sir. Okay, you broke a commandment. Oh, my uh, gosh. best okay. Star Trek. Next generation. Uh, oh, you know what? I think they meant movie, but you know what? I, 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 I'll do it as a TV show. Deep oh. Space, uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Because the captain is Benjamin Lafayette Cisco from New Orleans, Louisiana. Drop one of clues bombs for Benjamin Cisco. Uh, best sci-fi standalone. Out of pass. <laughs> um... I don't even know I what that means. I, I, I guess I, I mean it, it was it was never yeah I guess it was never a sequel to it. Okay, the Fifth Element. The Fifth the Fifth Element. That's a, that's a good one. You. That's a good one. Oh, uh, you <laughs> me up with that one. God, <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say Interstellar. What was the movie? Gravity with a uh, 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 with uh, Sandra Sarah Bullock. Sarah Sand, Sand, Sandy Bullock. Yeah. Yeah, okay, um, space balls. I I'll, I'll actually take space balls as, a, as an honorable mention. Okay, yeah, I, I listen, I, I love space balls. It's good. Okay, best MCU film. Oh my god. Uh, oh. That's that's not even that's not even okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even okay. Because Did, would you do you, do you want to do best or favorite? Is favorite easy? No. Favorite's not easy? Okay. Cause see, uh, cause see every like, you know, Iron Man, that was the kickoff. Blade was, was Blade was the original kickoff. Iron Man was the MCU kickoff. Uh-huh. But when you think of uh, Infinity War and Endgame, uh-huh. you know, and then you've got to put, uh, God, there's so no, I don't have a. Okay, that's, that's not even okay. I, you know what? I honestly, I this is too hard because three. I feel like three of the four Avengers movies are essentially perfect. You mm-hmm. know? Um, mm-hmm. And I love Avengers, Infinity War, Endgame, and then Guardians. Guardians Three is so good. Like, I gotta Guardians, watch. Jesus yeah. Christ, Guardians Three is. <laughs> I yeah. still got a lot of catching up to do. So, Man. Don't say okay, uh, yeah. All right, same. what's the next? All right, what's the next? Pass. 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 Right, you're right. Pass. Uh, best DCU movie. <sighs> mm-hmm. 
Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was about to say Man of Steel, but no, Wonder Woman. You're, you're absolutely. And Wonder Woman, and it's not even close. Wonder Woman by mine. Yeah, because Man of Steel will probably come after that, but they still had some some hiccups with Man of Steel. You know that it could it could have been a little bit faster for me. Um, but Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman from start to finish, brilliant, perfect. Oh yeah, okay. I I I, I have no notes. Uh, best comedy. Which it sucks because I feel like you already answered that with Spaceballs. Sure. No, it didn't, no don't you say Spaceballs because I said Spaceballs. Well, yeah, Spaceballs is, Spaceballs is hilarious. Yeah, Spaceballs. We'll go with that. Space, okay, all right. I do love Spaceballs. You know, but I also, like, I think Thor Ragnarok, I think is... Oh, cool. man. Uh, you, no, you know yes, what? I, I'm, Ragnarok. I'm, 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 I'm Ragnarok. I changed my mind. It's Ragnarok. You know what? I'll change it also to Ragnarok. Okay, we both we both taste the Ragnarok. Okay, here we go. Uh, saddest death. Ooh, mm. this is a good. This is a good one. What's the saddest death? Oh man. Um. Oof. I I want. You know what? In as an impact, Tony Stark. Okay. Um. Yeah, Tony's is tough, but mine is uh, T'Challa at the beginning of uh, Wakanda Forever. Well, see, he didn't. I know. You know, I know. he did. He didn't really die in the movie. I'm thinking deaths in the movie. To which, if okay. you're thinking Black Panther, you're thinking Mother Panther. Yeah, you know no, I mean? I'm. I'm thinking no, because like the movie starts with like Shuri trying to, like trying to resuscitate right. him. But, but no, then, but I a death like dying, seeing them dead, like you know, like you know, Black Panther's dad. You saw him die, but I didn't uh-huh. see Black Panther die. No, he died. But I didn't see him die. They didn't show like him in a Black Panther suit where it covered his face in a casket. You didn't see him. So for me, that death wasn't that hard. Ah, uh, okay. All right. But I thought, that's, I thought that's, you. That's I thought, so. Are you are you are you challenging that as my answer? Should I do I have to do I have to pick a different answer? You don't have to pick a different answer. I mean, I'm just saying that's just semantics for me. Okay. All right. Fair, fair enough. All right. Yeah. Um. Let's see what we got. Uh. Best victory, probably in game. The the in game victory, you know what? Finally, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, no, it, it, for, it was for me, ten years of trying to get to that point, you know. Because Infinity War, everybody lost. Like that was just hard. That was just yeah. tough. Let's see. So best, I don't know. Best victory. Best victory. Best. Which one stands out in my head as the best? Um. Hmm. I'm trying not to just automatically agree with your answer, but also it's like you, you made a good case for it. Yeah, uh, in terms of victories, that's probably. Oh no no no! I got it. I know I know I got my answer. I got my all answer. All right, all right, well, we got um, it. Uh, Wolverine and the X Men defeating Magneto at the end of uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. That was that was that one because it was like they literally had to like reset all of existence. So, so humanity could live. Like, in order to, to save humanity, the mutants had to save themselves, right? And they had to reset that whole f***ed up X-Men timeline only for them to go back and f*** it up again. Yeah. So X-Men Days of Future Past. That's what I'm... That's, 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 that's. <laughs> so in game. <laughs> what are we, Ooh, the, sh- the shade. What are we, what are we, what are, okay, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. What's the next look one? at look at you. I didn't realize you was a journalist at <clears throat> the Shade Room. Um, best MCU villain. Ooh, best MCU villain. It, 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 I feel like is, is it Thanos or Killmonger? Oh, you going Loki? Where were you going? Wow, it's funny because I wasn't going to any of those. I Ooh. was the, the first person that popped into my head. We did not see the full potential of their villainry. Uh huh. But it was uh, Bushmaster. Bushmaster? What was I don't Bushmaster? know why that. Luke Cage. Oh, Bushmaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Pop, we didn't uh, we didn't see the 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 true but that was the first thing that popped in my head but yeah best villain of course your your killmonger or your thanos is probably um i mean you could even argue kang but we haven't get, gotten to see the full effect of the kang yet. you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. We, we didn't get a chance to really experience his his, his mm-hmm. lethality 
Um, oh, I mean, you're you're also missing Hella. No, I'm not missing Hella. Like they didn't do her no justice in, in Ragnarok. As much as people talk about how great Ragnarok is, like like Kate Blanchett was woefully underutilized as this powerful war battle queen. You know that that like she was so dangerous that Odin was like, I got to hide this. Right, like, I got to put her up for safekeeping. You know, and, and, and they didn't even they didn't even do that. No, I'm it's either Thanos or or Killmonger. Oh, Killmonger, I, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm torn. With it. I, I'm, no, I'm it's it's Thanos. Thanos is the Thanos is the best villain, but K Killmonger is probably. Oh, man. No, it's I would have loved for Killmonger to have a well. If you're thinking, if you're thinking Killmonger through into what if season one. That's uh -huh. a pretty good villain. Yeah. Oh no, that's 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 still canon. So yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. What if so, it's canon? Okay. All, all right. right. All right. Okay. Wait. So wait. What was your actual answer? Okay. Uh, Thanos or or um, Killmonger for sure. Okay. Uh, I probably if, lean more towards Thanos. Yeah. It's it's Thanos. It's it's Thanos. Uh, it, it's Thanos. But Killmonger is a, a very close second. It, it is not like you know. It's it's not a. It, it's 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 close. It's much closer than they think. Um, right. Best MCU hero. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, uh, you know what? I, I Ant Man doesn't get the respect he deserves for saving everybody. He came out the van, you know. And then, no, you know who's the greatest MCU uh, uh, hero of all time? The rat that was climbing on the the, the, the keyboard that yep. triggered the van to push yep. Ant-Man out of Quantumania. That's yep. yeah, the rat. I give it to the rat. There He's the go. best MCU. That rat saved all our lives. Saved everybody. Drop one of the bronze for the cross. Um, I'm not trying to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to work with him. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, best MCU moment. Oh, um, all three Spider Mans. <laughs> <laughs> the best moment was all three Spider. Oh, when, all, when three. all three of them. When when well, best yeah. moment really was when the two of them came through the portal. Uh -huh. Sp uh, Spidey one, Spidey two came through the portal, uh -huh. but the the scene with the three of them just talking about being spider-man and how the things yeah. work and and realize you know and then tom holland's peter parker saying you know i'm so happy you got you know kind of thing like that yeah. that and um andrew garfield spider-man catching mj at the end of the movie ooh, ooh, that's a good one that's a good that one. redemption right there uh -huh. tore me up are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Are you okay? Tore yeah. me up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that yeah, that was good good choices. But both of mine come from uh in game. It's either uh Captain America grabbing uh Thor's Mjolnir? hammer. Oh my god, yeah. yes. Yeah, it was it was either it was either him grabbing me or, or 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 on your left. On your left, oh yes. God. Exactly. On your left. That was it. By that the way, was... can I say that I'm glad you hear on your left, but Black Panther comes out because I would have hated for that moment to go. To, I mean, you know, whatever, Falcon, uh, but I would have hated for that moment. <laughs> I, 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 our lovely host, live action animation, is not an Anthony Mackie fan at all. At all. Hate him. Yeah. Cannot stand him. <laughs> I actually know quite a few people from New Orleans that have met him and have just been like, yeah, man, that guy's a dick. He is. Horrible. I've, ne I've never met him before, but I know enough people that, that have said that about Anthony Mackie. And, and I don't know, and I don't know if he was uh, a POS before he went into the Marvel movies, but I know for sure once he met, once he started working with Seth Rogen and all of the big dogs in Hollywood, and I mean, hey, to each his own. You don't want to sign autographs. You don't want to be nice. You don't want to hang out with fans. You don't want to deal with it. That's fine. That's your business. But at the end of the day, if you are hired to go to an event to interact with people and make them feel good and, you know, all of these things, then do your f***ing job. I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest. Live action animation just did a pipe bomb promo. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. Because, because you could see all over Chris Evans' face that he was tired. He was, you know, like maybe he didn't want to be there or whatever, but he never showed or treated anybody, you know, 
in any way from that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know what's funny? Like like I've I've known that you had this angst, did this, you felt this way about him, but I've never known the story behind it. Yes, I'll tell I'll tell you the story once it's over. Best DCU villain. So you're talking DCEU then? Yeah, DCEU. Um, you got who? Joker, Zod, and then Justice League situation. So that's really all yeah. you got. Uh, what's, what was his name? Oh, Black um, Manta. You could say Black Manta, but I mean. Yeah. I think Zod wins by default on this one. I don't remember who the villain was. And, um, you know you know what I'm saying? You know who I'm going to say? Uh, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. You take is that. She a, it, is she, I mean, I guess she's. Technically a villain. If, 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 okay. if, if she's if, if she, she's Jared, if she's in the Jared Little realm, then she's technically a villain. If, if she's, she's, she's more deadpool I guess. She's more deadpool if, if she's a villain, she's an anti-hero. I don't think she's a villain. Yeah, okay. Well then because <laughs> ain't nobody. I, I, I'm going general Zod, but this is a larger exposure to like why the DCU has failed so miserably, right? Like no, qual- like you gotta have quality villains, otherwise it doesn't work. Like you got that rogues gallery, you're not even using. It. But this is the thing: you've got you've got the best villain mm-hmm. of all comics in the Joker, and you have not used him at all. In the DCEU, in a in a viable way, blows my mind. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is no it, idea it, it, how you managed to do that. Yeah. How you managed to have a whole series of films, you know, and not have the Joker be a prominent person in, in any of that. But, yeah, it just like they 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 shoehorn Jared Leto in the uh, Suicide Squad, and nobody nobody asked for that. Nobody, and then nobody liked it when you did it. Well, they well you didn't even give the Joker enough time in those movies for anyone to see what he did with the character. You can't base his Jared Leto's Joker off the fifteen seconds of dialogue. You just can't do it. Mm-hmm. We never got a chance to see what he actually did with the Joker. This I thought true. his I thought his look, I thought his demeanor, I thought his voice, I thought his mannerisms, I thought it could have been something if you would have given him a film to do it in. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know you what? I think, that off of that. I think that's fair. I, I think that's a, that I think that's a fair description. Um All right. uh, best DCEU hero. Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Woman. I, I think, yeah. Cause I, I, I love hated Superman. Shazam. Everybody knows me knows I love Superman. But uh, it was definitely one. Yeah, pro- pro- probably one. Like Wonder Wonder Woman wins that by default, I think. You know, uh, unfortunately, let's see. Best DCEU moment. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I got one. It's uh. Win it in. <laughs> Damn, son. Uh. At the end, at, at the beginning of Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice, we see Bruce Wayne, like uh, we see Bruce Wayne running through the city as Zod and uh, Superman are destroying the city from the end of Man of Steel, and seeing that destruction from mm-hmm. Bruce Wayne's perspective, mm-hmm. that scene, that moment for it me was, was devastating. Probably- yeah, it was super. It was super. Yeah, that was yeah, really that- good. Okay, well, I got I got another one. Um, the part in Justice League when uh, when Cyborg grabbed Aquaman, he was like, "My man." <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Jason Momoa over here. <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Jason Momoa recently singled Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I have not seen a lot of sad women about that one. Best antihero, you know, and I, they didn't. Uh, specify it could be across all properties. Deadpool. Deadpool, same. Okay, yeah, this is getting okay. Yeah. Best, <laughs> best low budget. Uh, uh, it just said best low budget, and that's it. They didn't start. The entire superheroes ripped off from other countries video <laughs> that we saw. <laughs> three, three, three Dev Adam. Yeah, you. the episode. Uh, I don't know how low budget it is, but I, I want to go. Uh, I kill giants. Is uh, uh, it was something that we reviewed uh, a while ago on Ultimate Comic Movie List channel. If that counts as low budget, then I kill giants. And if I kill giants doesn't count, then uh, uh, 
three day of Adam, aka Giant Man, aka Indian Spider Man. That's, that's the one. Because seeing Spider Man as a villain with glasses and, and his eyebrows sticking out his costume, wearing a belt for no reason, and using a motorboat propeller to kill a lady in the first oh five goodness. minutes of the movie. Listen, everything about that is golden, okay? <laughs> if I was if I was high watching that, that would have the best time ever. That'd be the best. Um let's see. Uh, worst high budget film. Wonder Woman 1984. Ooh, ooh, that was the answer I was going for too. You, yeah, took <laughs> it, snatched it right from underneath. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. Same. That's that's the one. That's the worst one. Uh, I, I have no notes. Uh, best monster movie. I mean, off the top of my head, your Godzilla movies. Uh huh. I, I, I definitely enjoyed Godzilla Minus One. Uh, just saw that in theaters. Uh, oh, fantastic okay. film. But okay. I'm actually going to go. There's a Korean uh, monster movie called The Host. Uh, mm. And uh, yeah, the, the Host. The Host okay. is number one, but uh, Godzilla Minus One would be uh, number two. If um, if Cloverfield and that, that was counts. more. Um, fleshed out than it was Cloverfield would have been a really good but for for its time and the movie Cloverfield it was a pretty good monster movie you know yeah. even though they didn't show it very much it was pretty good it was I, I enjoyed it. building like this lore around like what are these monsters who is this where did it come from it's a good piece yeah okay uh all right we're at the finish line all right favorite favorite movie monster I mean your Godzillas or your King Kongs I right, listen that, I, I think those are great. My, my answer, listen, is controversial, but I'm, I'm I'm confident in this answer. What is it, Mothra? I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's the nothing from the never ending story. Ooh. Yes. Yes. The, the, the nothing. Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. good. That's, oh, that's, my that's God. My yeah, Come yeah. for me, Gmok. I uh -huh. am a tree, you. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Also, I would, uh, but you know, an honorable mention would be. The, the mud that killed Artax. Oh, man. <laughs> the bog of sadness or whatever it was called. That is the, you know what? That's the saddest moment in a movie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Artax dying, man. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Favorite guilty pleasure nerdy movie? Howard the Duck. Howard that, the Duck. That was what I was going to say. The first Damn, thing that okay. came to my mind was Howard the Duck. Because uh -huh. I love, I got the VHS in the other room right now. I'm yeah, like, listen. How it okay. it was it was it was a fantastic bad movie and I it love it. Horrible. Okay, you know what was another one? Earth Girls are easy. Trash. Earth Girls are, yeah. So good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, yeah, that Earth Girls are easy. It's like Jim Carrey was it. Damon Wayans and <laughs> Jeff Goldblum and Gina yeah. Davis. What more do you need? Yeah, it was so much. It was so much. So bad. They had to find a bunch of tall actors because she tall, so they had to make sure all the guys was tall too. Um, let's see. And last one, favorite nerdy movie of all time. First thing that came to my mind was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Favorite nerdy movie of all time. Um, I mean, are you think are you saying like Revenge of the Nerds nerdy? Or are we talking in the comic book? I, I see, it, they, 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 listen, they just kind of softball the question in there, so it's kind of just, it, I, I'm, I'm just going to interpret Well, I'm just going to stick with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, original 1990. Listen, that movie was when I started cursing, okay? When I heard Raphael Same. say, <laughs> I used yeah. to say it so hard in my room, man. Uh-huh, yeah. I used it all the time. When I was, when I was, when I, I would look around, make sure there was nobody around. Come back here. I'm not finished with you. <laughs> Then he yeah. went back in the sewer and he was like, Yeah. It's great. Uh -huh. it's so yeah, good. I got it. Okay. I, listen, I have, that's it. That's the end of the All movie. Right.